We'll Number see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's tackling at the 27. Second and eight, ball on the 27. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle right around the 30. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it 35. And he's sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. It's away, and it's a booming punt. The Bearcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. with room to run. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. And they make the stop at the 47. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. He's on the run. And they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 45. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Tackled after a decent pickup. quickly and it's almost intercepted. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. 
Second and ten. Ball on the 40. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Throws in a hurry. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Louisville is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he hooked it left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. The running back gets two on the carry. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. Watch two. Watch two. Here we go. Line, Line it, Weasel. Line, Line it, Weasel. Line he's got the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. They'll bring him down at the 22. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Nice run to the outside. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. We played one. No score here. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Cincinnati could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Brought down around the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. That makes it second and two. And 
and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. That'll bring us third. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He might have a chance. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 37. Seven yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Has some daylight. Makes it to the 17. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Makes it out to about the 17 yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 17. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Third down. This is the ninth play of this drive. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Louisville is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they hit him in the backfield. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Second and 14. Ball on the 21. Slings it. And he tackles him hard at the 33. That's good for the end of the Complete. He's got room. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike, two. Mike, two. Let's go, D. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. 
and it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And he's level at the 46. Fourth and long here after the sack. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. They go with a run. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22. We played a half of football. And this one's knotted up at three. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these offenses are known for producing big plays. It's one thing to produce a big play against the average run-of-the-mill defense that you see mostly in college football, and it is quite another <laughs> to do it against the type of talent these teams are facing. I think they're seeing that, aren't they? It seems like you just bump your head up against the wall and nothing's going your way, and it, it, it forces you to be extremely patient. But when I start looking at these defenses, I'm seeing a lot of guys that you could probably drop into Madden right now, and they would have a huge impact on the ball game. Next level guys, full grown men, full grown men that you don't want to mess with. So there's a lot of little boys out there playing college football, but there's some next level guys that are playing some grown man football. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog, big dog. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and ten. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 31-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. 
with the tackle. Woo! That's a game of seven. Man, 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 man. First down. down. Choose the mic. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Got an opening, and he is drilled at the seven. That's a great tackle at the six yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Cincinnati is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle Mays at the 34. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. Third down. Gets out to around the 48. From their own 48 yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. So it's another third down upcoming here. Four down, four down. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Motion, motion, motion. Two, seven. Back motion, motion, motion. And he hits him hard at the 40. Call him a loss of eight yards on the play. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to feed next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Cincinnati holds a field goal lead. And he's taken down at about the 31. Number 15 makes the tackle at the 31 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike two, Mike two. Run, 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 run. 
Makes it to the 44. First down. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a big That makes it second and two. They bring him down in the backfield. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. Bring him down around the 44 yard line. From the 44 yard line, it's first down. Quick pass. He's at the 20. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. First and 10, ball on the 18. And a quick throw. Touchdown, cards. And he adds the extra point. A four play, 56 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. Brought down at the 25. That makes it second and 10. Nice run there. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Louisville's up by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. 
Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? A score here might effectively end this one. Louisville holds a four-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He's on the run. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Go. Mike, Mike, 51, Mike, 51. Damn. 97. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He steps out at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That two. brings up second and one. Roger, Roger. I got one, I got one, I got one. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. <laughs> He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. That's a game of one run. Let's go, D. First down. Mike, two. Mike, two. Mike, two. Let's go. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He scrambled. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Down, down. 
Bengals receiver. He's tackled at the 43. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. He fights forward to about the 46. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Cincinnati is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just under two to go in the game. Runs it left for a decent game. Around five yards there on the option keep. The Bearcats using their third and last timeout. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That makes it fourth and four. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Bearcats have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Fires out to his receiver, and he's level at the 31. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He throws left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Check curls, check curls, check curls. And he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Under a minute left in the game. He lets it fly. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Pulls it in, and he could score. The 10. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Cincinnati's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. And it's fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he hits the PAT. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Now he's scrambling. He is drilled at the 40-yard line. Louisville's going to take their first time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. We had a fight to the finish here today. 13-10.
Cincinnati. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Cincinnati comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.